Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial and on this tutorial I'm going to well show you how to enable additional force feedback settings so as probably most of you have when you go here to controls and then to the force feedback you just have these settings well these options but you can enable more and for that we're going to head back to desk, uh, to desktop and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so here we are to the desktop. So uh, once you're here on the Air Factor folder, you go to UI Data, which is located in your folder. You simply go in it, and you have these folders. Then you simply go to the Project D 2.0 folder. And what you simply do is just select everything, you copy it, and then you head back to this one, and just paste everything. Are you sure? And of course, don't forget, make backups. It's always good to make backups. But normally you won't need it on this one, but it's always to be sure. So you just go copy and replace. Yes, just merge all the folders and so on. So that should be it. Now we're going to head back to the error factor and so we can see the additional settings. All right, so here we are back on error factor. So now we're going to see those additional force feedback settings. So we go back to controls, and then there you have it. Now you have the steering force, steering damper set, steering damper, and jolt magnitude. Then you have here another button, force feedback 2. There you have a lot, a lot of settings. Then you have, again, a third one. So if you want to be precise on the force feedback, this is your chance. There you can do everything. So, yeah. This was it for this tutorial. Hope you liked it. See you in another, another tutorial. Bye. And also, th thanks to Beans Means for putting the tutorial on the JDM Factor forum.